When it comes to headline making crimes, there's always more than meets the eye, a fact that is no surprise to award winning journalist Maria Elena Salinas as she continues her deep dive with season two of The Real Story on Investigation Discovery. She actually joins us now with a preview. Ms. Salinas, thanks so much for joining us today. Hello, Alex. It's my pleasure to join you this morning. Thanks for the opportunity to talk to you. Of course, it's such a fascinating show. And, and I have to ask you, what are the types of stories, for someone who, who may not be familiar with the series, types of stories that you cover on this show? You know, this is a crime investigation show, and we cover uh, a lot of different uh, crimes. And, of course, each case is different, one from the other, but there's usually a common denominator. And we find that there are a lot of crimes that could have been prevented if someone had spoken out, if someone had talked about what they saw, if they would have talked about their past experience with someone who was a potential murderer. And it, it, what I um, like about this series that I think we're honoring the victims by telling their story because too often they just come off as another statistic. You know, we have such limited time in the news, whether it's uh, a newspaper or television where we have two minutes to tell the story in a newscast or, uh, or, or radio. We have very little time to tell our story and now we have a whole hour to do the victim justice. They are not just a statistic, they're a person, a human being with a name and a face and a story to be told and the circumstances under which uh, they died um, I think could be a learning experience for those who might not have been able to detect the signs of danger that were right in front of them and they just didn't see them. Right not only that but adding to the story are all the unheard perspectives uh, that maybe never saw the light of day so who are you giving a voice to um, in this show? You know, we're giving a voice to family members, we're giving a voice to friends, we're giving a voice to um, prosecutors, to detectives, to a lot of journalists that end up solving cases that detectives can't solve. So good for journalists to be able to take their time and, and, and do that. Um, and sometimes we want to also be able to question uh, the defense uh, of the murder, of the person that is accused. And you know, what's interesting is that once in a while you run into stories of those who have been falsely accused, of those whose who justice has not been served. Uh, we see sometimes people are you know, incarcerated uh, when they are not guilty, and then we see these people who have committed heinous crimes who are just running the streets and, and, and are free, are, are just running free. So we want to make sure that we have this mix of stories so that we understand all the possibilities out there because I think what most people want is to see justice served, not just the family members of the victim, but I think society wants to make sure that we live in a country, in a democracy, where justice is, is served and our justice system is, is functioning. Right. It's in the best interest of all of us. And, you know, in the last minute we have left, give us a taste of even just the first episode of the series, because it starts off with a bang. All right. It's a story of Jesse Bardwell, a young woman who went off with a boyfriend that she had just met, lived with him. And we have a, a heart wrenching interview with her father, uh, Gary Bardwell, who, who just pours his heart out um, in not only because he's suffering and because his daughter is not with him anymore, but also because he feels the guilt. He feels he wasn't able to protect her from this man who seemed to be very charming and loving and ended up being a monster. And also with a woman who was his ex-girlfriend, a murderer ex-girlfriend who also feels guilty for not having held him accountable when he tried to kill her two years earlier. So, like I said, there's always a story behind the story. Wow, and that's just the very first episode. I can't wait to watch the rest of it. Thank you so much for what you're doing, uh, not only for understanding crime better, but also for the victims and their families and everybody who didn't have a voice before. So thanks for joining us also. They deserve it. Thank you so much, Alex. Thanks for the opportunity. Of course. The Real Story with Maria Elena Salinas premieres Monday night on Investigation Discovery. Learn more at investigationdiscovery.com and stay right where you are. We'll be right back.